Hey there, this video is sponsored by PCB Way. Okay, this right here is a very, very popular DIY car audio lithium battery. It is based on 48 headway cells. And this right here is the open source DIY bus bar that I've designed and developed over the years to make it easy to assemble. When we first started this project, we made it smaller. The reason why we did that is because we had a battery box that we designed this to be able to fit. But with time, people kept asking for a bigger version. So the 96 amp hour is very popular because uh, usually what people are doing is they're taking these cells from a used and discarded battery. It's called the battery, the beast module. Uh, available at batteryhookup.com, right? And so that one has 48 cells. And so in order to use all of those cells, well, you need a bigger bus bar. And so then we eventually made the 48 cell, 96 amp hour version of this battery. But now people are asking for a smaller version. How, how much smaller? Well, half of this, right? To use with 24 uh, cells or 48 amp hour. And the reason they want that is because of probably size constraints. When you're putting this in a car, well, you know, you only have so much space to put in. So a lot of people can't fit this giant battery in their car and they're because they have the big, you know, boxes for speakers and all that stuff. And so they, they have, you know, a limited amount of space. So they want a 48. So now we're gonna make that. Let's go to the drawing app. Okay, so this is the existing 64 amp hour version that we have. This is the original one that we started with. Again, because it fit in that box. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna cut one, two cells off of uh, each side here, right? So, so two rows basically to make it six cells uh, long, I guess, and then four, four wide, right? So that's, okay, so these are the pads that we're using to put a two gauge uh, two American wire gauge uh, terminal blocks. Uh, you can use these. These are very popular in the uh, audio world uh, so that you don't have to crimp uh, ring terminals into your cables. You just stick them in there. You back out the set screw. You stick your cable in there. You put out a ferrule and then you just clamp it, right? And so we're putting those in there, but they don't have them on the sides. So we're gonna put them over here. Okay, so we start by uh, moving this edge of this uh, design here and we start moving it back, right? We need to eliminate two of those rows. So we have to move all these lines. Uh, we have to make sure those, see how they're, it, it's misaligned there. You have to make sure that you align it again. And then these are breakaway little tabs because this is a, a bottom, a top and a bottom design and they're different. And I didn't want to make two different files because then what happens is that people order the one file, the top one, and then they don't, they get confused easily and they don't, they don't know that like, oh, where's the other one? So this way, what allows us to do is just have one file and it's got board boards, both the top and the bottom board in the same design. And then when you get it, you'll, you have to do is just break it, right? And it breaks easy. And then, uh, then you assemble your battery there. So there we go. We're just changing all these lines. We're changing all those features that are there. The text, you gotta make sure. These, these uh, holes there, they're for, if you ever wanna install a BMS on top of this, you know, we have holes that are there that you could use to put standoffs. We are not using them for anything right now because most of these batteries don't have a BMS. Uh, and cause it doesn't, lend itself to use a BMS when you're using it for audio because of the amount of power that we're pushing through them, right? There we go, we're just lining stuff up. Change the text to 48 amp hours. There's links to uh, all the components. And then obviously these uh, copper traces or copper layers have to be shortened like that. Now, boom, and there we have it. See, this is the 3D view. Well, that looks pretty good. And see, you have both boards. Oh, we had to change those, that text. So then we go to the bottom there. Yeah, then we just move that. And uh, yes, this PCB way is our sponsor. They sponsor these videos and these designs. So that's why we put the their logo in these designs here. See project sponsored by and see that text right there. Okay, so once you do that, then it's your finish 
bored. This is the beauty of like redoing a thing that you've already done, right? You save your file, you got your dimensions, you don't, I don't have to go and measure the batteries because I already all did all that. You know, we, we trial and error our way into making a board that worked. Uh, and now we're just changing it for a different size, for a different pattern, for a different application, to sort of stuff like that, right? And so this is very useful to have all these files uh, and all these older designs and save them, you know? Okay, so now we're exporting it out here and then we just made a Gerber. Okay, so now the only thing is to go and order it at pcbway.com and then we can put it together. All right, and here it is. Um, this, it's very easy to assemble. It's all labeled and it goes together the same way as the 96. We have a video here, I'm showing some footage of how you put it together. You basically just put the, all the negatives and then the positives and then negatives and positives and then you put the screws and then you make sure that you have the top plate on the top and then the bottom plate on the bottom and then you're good to go. Now I do have this video over here where I show how to connect the uh, balancer. So you can put a balancer in this battery right here. But this is basically it. This is uh, the 48 amp hour, 12 volt uh, battery pack using the headways, right? And so now you should be able to fit. Even sometimes what you can do is like, you can't fit that big one in your space that you have available in your car, but you, maybe you can fit two of these and you can put one on this side, one on the other side, then you can just connect them in parallel. And you still have, it's the same amount of battery, right? Like the same amount of power that you can get off of this big one, you can get it off the two smaller ones. All right, just in case that you uh, are, this is the first time that you're seeing these, these are open source projects. What that means is that I design and develop these uh, products, right? Like this bus parts right here and I trial and error my way into making something that works. And then I sell them, and then I sell these on my website, jack35.com. But I also make the files so that you can go and buy the batteries where I buy them, and then you can buy the board where I buy them. And uh, now you could build this yourself without me being in the middle of there, right? And so that way you can get these really cheap. I don't have to, you know, buy them and then mark them up and then make money. I do make, sometimes I make small commissions, I think when you buy them, depending on how you buy them and where you buy them, but I'm making the Gerber files available. So you can go anywhere in the world and then use whatever company you want to make these uh, PCBs. And I don't make anything of that, right? I just share it, it's open source. You can change it, you can you know modify them if you want to. Um, and so that's open source and I make all of these projects like that. So this is what this video is. This, I developed this a, quite a while ago, but I'm finally making the, the, the getting around to making the, the files available. And so all you have to do is go and click in the link in the description. I'll take you to the project page and that's going to be at the sponsor of this video, PCB way they sponsor these videos. And, and so you can buy it with them right there, right? That's really easy. Or you can download the file and buy it somewhere else. Right, but either way, if you build this, you'll save yourself some money. You will build a very, very powerful battery. You will learn something about batteries. It's all good. DIY is the way to go. I promote DIY every day. And uh, if you're gonna do something like this, I thank you for, for supporting these projects and stuff, right? All right, so until next video, we'll see you, bye. This is gorgeous. It's quintessentially Californian. It feels really updated. Oh boy. 100 horsepower and 100 pounds of torque. Yes. It goes fast now. <laughs> it's not as slow as it used to be. Wow. And it's quiet and it's clean. We open this one up right here. So look how slick this thing is. Ooh wee. This is electric. Yes. Yep. And it runs off the solar? Yes. That's cool. Fire wire surfboards. Yeah, well, this is a surfboard model designed by Rob Machado. But most importantly, it's EcoBoard verified by Sustainable Surf. The surfboard with this logo on it has a carbon footprint that is 30% less than a surfboard built with traditional materials. That's huge. What else is there to do when you've got an EV beach bus, cooler full of tofu dogs, and a full camera crew trailing your every move? It's time to hit the beach with my brothers and sisters and party and feed them and frolic and fly a kite.
party time. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Hold, on. Hold that up. You're going to have to push this one in. There's all right. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you know, oh, it's yeah. so great to have a GoPro on the rearview mirror so you literally <laughs> see f <laughs> all. All right, so what do you think? Awesome. I loved it. I think of all the conversions, it's the one that I think uh, kind of took to it the best, maybe. By the way, it takes about 11 seconds to get used to it. Um, because I, I stole a school bus once. <laughs> uh, I mean, I brought it back, so it didn't... I don't see what the big deal was, honestly. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm really happy it took the bump like that. That is very comforting. Got it. Got it. It'll go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Look at that. Oh, my God. You are a professional. Are we there yet? You need another take on that? <laughs>